Good day, everyone. My name is Chiaka Aduri Nodi from the Department of Fine and Applied Arts, Alex Ekweme Federal University in Dufa Alike, Ebony State. I'm presenting Entrenching Aquata Weaving within the University, A. Ifunai, as a case um, study. Our outline will be looking at a brief background of Aquata cloth and weaving. Introduction of Aquete into AE Funai Alex Ekweme Federal University, different roles played by the Aquete Center, Aquete as a brand of the university. Okay, we look at a little background, um, a brief background, the Aquete cloth and its weaving tradition. The Aquete cloth is the traditional woven cloth of the people of Aquete in, uh, in Doki, Abia State, Nigeria. The Akwete weaving tradition is a rich cultural heritage of Ndibi, or southeast of Nigeria. Traditionally, it's an ethnic enterprise. The weaving tradition is taught strictly within the family and passed on to the next generation. And about 20 years ago, I wanted to do my project and I, on Akwete. When I got there, they said, I'm not um, related to the family. I'm not from there and they don't teach, so I had to leave it. Now, the problem with this is the arts, um, this weaving tradition began to, is dying off somehow um, if nothing is done because the younger people they are passing the art to are migrating to the big cities um, for better education, better jobs. So it's not like before. So, and, and so that's the need. Um, there's a need there to really make sure that this um, weaving tradition does not go down. Okay, Aquete cloth is a beautiful, rich fabric, usually in bright colors and woven mainly by women on a vertical loom. It is woven whole, not in strips. Okay, introduction of Aquete weaving in um, Alex Equeme Federal University. It was the initiative of the former vice chancellor of the school, um, Professor Chine Dun Wajuba, in 2018. And when it was introduced, it was only within the fine um, textile unit of the fine applied arts. But by 2019, a, a center was formally opened for Akwete. The main driving force is to preserve this rich, beautiful weaving and tradition and cultural heritage while improving on it and to drive entrepreneurship in the university, combining academic knowledge and skills gotten from entrepreneurship and innovations that we develop industries is one of university best practices. The university employed the skilled personnel in the art of weaving aquete who also is a graduate of a higher institution to train us. We decided to use our own, that is those trained, we train others. It has its challenges, but it's, it is the best way really to effectively propagate this weaving tradition um, outside Akwete without having to deal with their traditional rules of teaching the arts. If we keep depending on the Akwete people to learn the arts. But well, we opened a center and equipped it with looms and weaving accessories made with good wood, replicating the traditional looms made from bamboo. And some of the accessories actually were gotten from our greater town. And some of those accessories were made from palm fronts. Yes, then we have the challenge of sourcing materials for weaving. Find that our threads that we use, most of them are imported. And it makes the cloth quite expensive. Okay, the AE Funai Aquete Weaving Center. In the slide there, in the picture, you see that was the day, the opening of the center. And if you notice, everyone in that picture, they are all wearing Aquete. And um, the former vice chancellor said something. He said, let us be proud of our home. Let us wear it, let us showcase it. Uh, we have something great to offer the world. 
we are not that inferior thing they try to make us out to be. And truly, that has been a, a motivating um, statement for us at the center. If now you create a women's center, you will see inside the center and students working in the center. And some of the, yeah, at the end there, you see a student uh, working on her exam and you see a finished product there. This um, particular picture, you see, is like the processes of the Akwete. These are uh, one of our students from last session that uh, just graduated, and um, she's an expert weaver. She's an expert weaver. And okay, that, these are our pioneer um, students that um, started, uh, we used, um, we experimented on um, starting the weaving with them on that a course in textile. And, uh, and that, there you see the processes of um, Aquete weaving from the warping to the different stages and then the end product. Okay. Now, okay, the different roles played by the Aquete Center. Note, Aquete was just a starting point. The bigger vision is to bring together uh, weaving traditions from different parts into the university system to preserve them. The center is no longer called Aquete Center, but has been renamed as Center, as center for Indigenous Textile. So the Aquete um, Weaving Center is under this bigger umbrella. We have another uh, weaving tradition we are about to bring in arrangements are being made for the aquaculture. And um, we're going to bring it also um, to that center for indigenous textiles and teach, uh, uh, and teach the art. These are the roles the Aquata Center plays. A teaching and learning center, a research center, a cultural center, an entrepreneurial and revenue generating center. So, uh, a teaching and learning center. Here yeah, you see, um, you see the textile major students learning. They are textile major. All the people you see there, they are textile major students, and learning aquatic weaving technique under a course titled Woven Structures and Fibers. We okay a teaching and learning center. Still, we have um, graduated three sets of textile major students who learned how to weave a pattern. In 2019, we graduated two students. 2020, we had three students. And this last session, 2020, 2021, we had eight students with our first male students uh, as part of the people weaving. And uh, you see him at the end there. Okay. So these are uh, activities at the um, weaving center. And all, all of them there you see are uh, textile students of different levels. Okay. Okay, a research center. Um, Nigeria needs innovators that will produce and fabricate indigenous materials that can bring development, advancement, sustenance, and better the livelihood of people. That is why mechanization of the aquatic loom is a major project for us so that we can impact the industrial space of the region. In collaboration with the Faculty of Engineering, Steps have been taken to improve the loom for faster and easier production of the cloths. Mechanization will take place in phases. A team from mechanical engineering have been understanding the weaving process. For the first step, they'll be introducing a machine part, one of the processes that reduces the work done drastically. Because Aquata is really, the whole process of weaving it is a bit tedious trying to warp, trying to fix everything. So introducing those parts, um, gradually put a lever here 
and you just press the button and it changes the weaving uh, sequence, makes it so much easier. We have been exper experimenting with innovative yarns like the luminous threads, multicolor threads, and not the usual. They used to produce what we name uh, Aquarius Plus. Also, um, we have been weaving with motifs that are not necessarily native to Aquarius, especially traditional symbols like in CBD, Uli, just to keep, um, get our students to learn about those symbols and their significance uh, in our traditions and other conventional motifs. I'm talk I want to talk a little bit about the luminous, luminous threads. It's a glow, it glows and all that in the dark. I found that if you use this thread, if you, uh, you want a luxurious um, a furnishing and you use a quete as cotton, and then you, we, we use this luminous thread to weave towards the edges so that um, especially the bottom part, and um, when the light goes off, it glows in the dark. It's really a beautiful, um, in a um, beautiful sight. And this was one of the things we wanted to, uh, we took, that was the idea behind um, taking Aquete to Expo um, 2020 in Abuja. Okay, other areas that will be looked into in the near future is processing different fibers like pineapple suckers to make yarns, yeah? Another, another, there are other things too. And then um, making our own dyes. And that will involve um, working with those in departments of agri, um, chemistry, biotech. Um, okay, and then um, number five, using 3D additive and technology to print textures, patterns on the woven fabric. It's a very um, interesting thing. We want to try it out. I've been following some research um, people have been doing on using 3D printers to print fabrics, to print on fabrics and different things like that. So we want to experiment. We want to try it out on the Aquete, plain Aquete, and we use these things to see how we can create textures on the Aquete. Okay, so these uh, innovations on the Aquete cloud, um, the, the other, um, the pic first um, photo, where we, when we started using the CBD um, symbols to try, some of the symbols are even similar to what they use in the Aquete, but um, we are combining all kinds of things to make them different kinds of thread and see how it comes out. And that's, um, um, that's our, um, out in at the National Science Technology and Innovation Expo Abuja 2020. And the muffler on the, we are wearing was woven at the center. We wrote eight before nine on it. Okay. Um, Aquata Center, as a cultural center. Yes. Um, okay. Eight before nine as an institution striving to attain a world-class status has taken Aquete as one of the tools of building the nation and promoting Igbo culture. Aquete weaving is an indigenous art of the Igbo people. So vis visitors like to come and see where this traditional weaving is taking place. The Aquete Center works um, closely with the Igbo Center of the University called Iruka House. Center for the Future of the Igbo. And it has a gallery called Rock Gallery that is, you, that is for the archiving and documenting of historical facts and cultural practices of the Igbo, which of course includes the Aquatic cloth, knowing the very important role clothing plays in cultures. Aquatic cloth features prominently in the cultural events in the university, like Igbo Day, and other official ceremonies of the school. The university has a, a culture called Traditional Monday, which is the first Monday of every month when everyone is expected to dress in their traditional attire. And it's usually an opportunity to showcase the aquatic cloth in different forms. 
um, this is our vice chancellor. Um, on the day we are opening the Igbo Center, um, um, vice chancellor wearing the white, that's an our white aquete um, with silver um, motifs. Um, all the motifs, uh, the aquete people use uh, on their, have um, their traditional motifs on the aquete cloth have meanings. They have meanings, they have their names, and they have their meanings. Yeah. Okay. Okay, there we see our Igbo day, aquete cloths, um, worn by several us, several people. Um, we came out to showcase the, do it like a fashion parade of the aquete cloth and other Igbo clothing. And okay, we see our, um, our what do you call it, traditional Monday, and other special occasions in the school where we are wearing a quete. So these are photos of our traditional Monday. Um, our traditional Monday is not only a quete, that is one. You find other people from different um, tribes wearing their own. And so there we see the anger of the thief. Um, the black and white, very beautiful cloth. And also the Ashoke is also um, uh, showcased there. Um, okay, and then the Akwete. Okay, Akwete Center as an entrepreneurial and revenue generating center. The Akwete Center has become a place to train people to acquire weaving skills for entrepreneurship for both students and staff of the university, and also those coming from outside. We set up a program that um, we allow people to come to learn. Um, we have a certain number we can manage. As we train more people, we will expand on, 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 on it. Okay. The center has been producing our quite a clothes so to the university community and those outside the university. In fact, the center has had, has had contracts from women groups, associations to produce a quite a wrapper for their group as, in, as their uniform. And some of our special guests to the university have also um, um, may, uh, contracted us to make a quite for them. Even uh, some governors that came visited our university. Okay, the center has been producing special branded Aquete regalia for special occasions of the university and souvenirs, gifts of Aquete clothes. And um, um, Ifunai Center for Indigenous Textiles, where Aquete is under targets industrial production in the near future. Aquete cloth as a brand of the university. Ifunai is using Akwete cloth as one of the ways for effective branding of the university. In the official ceremonial clothes, gifts to um, university special guests, for example, we will a customized Akwete for the vice president, Professor Yemi Osibanji, when he came and we wrote his name on it when he paid a visit to the school. Um, also, we have given to ambassadors of other nations that came to our university. Um, other people um, that come to the university are special guests from wherever. We normally give them a quete as our, as the university gift. Research done and other outputs from the universities should drive industries, impact the economy positively. So we at AIFUNAI envision where our products um, will be found at international airports, big hotels, international markets, places, so that both our people and the international community, we have access to this beautiful, rich cultural treasure. So really, we have something great to offer the world. That is why we brought in this great cultural heritage of Indigo into the university system to preserve and propagate it. I wish to reach out to more uh, of these uh, weaving traditions and bring them into the university to preserve them. So there we see our, 
uh, AE for nine branded um, uh, mufflers. We, they give us gifts and some of our gifts packaged and all that, and a presentation to some of our special guests by the Vice um, Chancellor. So that's it. Thank you.